Welcome back to What's Now, this episode all about your health. Well, open enrollment is here and many employees are evaluating their benefits. What do you need to know in regards to the pandemic and everything to make sure you have what you need? Well, we have some ideas for you right now. Open enrollment is coming up for millions of U.S. workers, but amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the way employees are evaluating their benefits has seen a dramatic shift as employees remain anxious about their own financial security. So what should we all be thinking and talking about when it comes to these decisions? Well, joining us today with more is Meredith Ryan Reed, Financial Wellness and Engagement Senior Vice President of MetLife. Thanks for being here with us today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So you recently conducted a survey that had some eye-opening revelations about why U.S. workers feel this year's open enrollment will be more important than ever. Can you tell us those results? Sure. So first of all, only three in 10 people we talk to know what open enrollment is. So that's usually our biggest challenge is to get people engaged and help them understand what's available to them at work and get them to pay attention because this is such a busy time of year. But what we learned this year was that more than half of the people we talked to said that they believed open enrollment was more important this year than it was last year. And no surprise, two in three people said that was because of COVID. They're worried about um, getting through this. They're worried about a potential for a second wave. And one in three people said they were gonna spend more time on open enrollment this year because of their own personal financial situation. They're worried about income insecurity. They're worried about income loss. And they want to do whatever they can to help insure against that and help protect themselves and their family as they move into 2021, which still feels very uncertain. With this busyness, this uncertainty, what should people of all backgrounds and life stages be thinking about when it comes to maximizing the value of their employee benefits? So the first thing I'd like to tell people is that in this year's survey, 40% of people said they'd actually spend more time on open enrollment this year. So typically, when we look at it, we hear that people spend about 10 minutes on this. And that's not the right amount of time for how important this is. So we want to make sure um, everybody checks in and everybody looks at the decisions that they have to make and what's available to them this year that might not have been available last year. But we also know we're all in this big storm together, but everyone's in a different boat. So people need to take stock. Um, You know, many of us have additional dependents that are now at home with us. We're taking care of elderly parents. We might have a new pet. So much has changed uh, from 2019 that this is um, a time when people need to reflect. We also know that people are interested in things they might not have thought about um, as acutely before. So much more interest in life insurance, updating a will, creating a will, creating a healthcare proxy. Many employers have legal plans that can help defray the costs of these services. We also know people are interested in hospital indemnity and critical illness. Many people are worried, even if they have really good health insurance, they're worried about unexpected out-of-pocket medical expense. And that's a real concern. We know that's the number one driver of bankruptcy for Americans. So people are looking at this um, this season, this open enrollment season, with a different um, set of um, decisions that they, they know they need to make. Um, so we're, we're encouraged to see that people do want to take more time because we think that's really important. And what resources are available to help people navigate open enrollment? So employers have spent a lot of time and money on communications, and they know that they need to do it differently this year in particular. So if you think about it, you know, employees are scattered all over the place. They're working from home. They might be working from someone else's home. Uh, They might be in a temporary spot um, outside the city. Maybe they're coming back into the city. So it's going to be hard to find people um, the way it might have been a little easier last year. So employers are using email. They're creating online events. You know, many employers had benefit fairs in their offices. They had big group meetings in the cafeteria. That's just not going to be um, able to to go uh, to go forward this year like it did last year. So many employers are using technology to help support that, and they're trying to increase the amount of emails they're sending and the way they're connecting with employees so that they know what's going on and they take advantage of it. And anything else we need to know, and where can we get more information? 
Yes. So we've created a website, metlife.com slash open enrollment. A lot of good resources and information on that site. And we also have videos of real people having real conversations about something unexpected that happened to them and how their benefits came into play, um, things they might not have even realized they had or fully understood um, how those products worked um, before. So we think it's a really um, relatable way to get um, useful information. Well, thank you so much, Meredith Ryan Reed, for this important information about open enrollment. Thank you. Really appreciate having the time today.